What's up, Soul Squad? What's up, Soul <laughs> What's up, Soul Squad? It is Friday, and we are having chicken, broccoli, and cheese casserole. And um, yeah, guys, y'all go make that Mexican corn, okay? My family tore it up. They was like, I never had it. But if yours tastes this good, imagine the people who really know how to make it, how it tastes, okay? But check out that video. Um, I did a video on how to make easy Mexican street corn. It was a winner in the house. Okay, guys, we are doing chicken casserole, broccoli and cheese. I am using the Knoll's rice. I'm not going out for the regular white rice. We're going to bring a whole bunch of flavors and stuff to this recipe. All right, with that being said, guys, like... Remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit your bell to be notified. And we also got to do what? Hit that intro! Some boneless skinless chicken thighs a whole bag they were some frozen bags a frozen bag by walk by walmart so what i'm going to do and what you're going to do is that you're going to take your favorite seasonings and season your chicken i had the last a little bit of my complete y'all i gotta go grocery shopping she down y'all got a little bit more in there some black pepper I got plenty of pepper though. And for the first time, I always run out of pepper, but she ain't run out of pepper today. Now make season your um chicken. And you can use um you can also use um chicken breast, ten chicken tenderloins and cut them up. You can get a whole chicken from the store and you can use a whole chicken and um shred it. Or you go to the store, buy one of those chickens already cooked, and you can use one of those. And you can shred it. Yeah, so my chicken is getting nice and seasoned. Yes, okay. I'm not even going in with my hands right now. I'm going to go ahead and take my wooden spoon. And we're just going to mix these seasonings up. And I'm going to get some grease over in my pan, y'all. This, this is a casserole, okay. This is a broccoli and cheese casserole. The family is going to love it. I just pulled some of the ingredients out a little bit at a time. You know, just a little bit at a time. So we got our chicken. Nice and seasoned. Again, I like dark meat, so I opt out to use chicken thighs, boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and I cut them up with my kitchen shears, and then now we just season them. Even these are chicken thighs, y'all. I still had a whole lot of yellow fat and stuff. I had to cut off this chicken. This would be my favorite chicken part, but this is the most nastiest part of the chicken. You gotta make sure you clean this chicken really, really well. Okay, so that chicken is nice and seasoned. Let's go to the stove. And I'm going to show you my broccoli. Well, I'm going to put the broccoli clip in here. I blanched the broccoli already. Okay, guys, to my ball of water, I'm adding in some chicken bouillon. And what I'm doing is that I got fresh broccoli. So I am going to... I am going to blanch. All right, guys. I left my season um, ball in there for five minutes. And now and I rinse my broccoli off. So now what I'm going to do is that. Stand back, guys, if you want to get burned. Put my broccoli in that water and let it go on high for about four to five minutes. So I'm going to blanch it because I don't want to get soggy because it's going inside the casserole. So that's what you could do if you got fresh broccoli. If you got frozen broccoli, you go ahead and store it in your casserole and it cook for the hour. It will cook while your um, food is in the oven for those minutes. So Soul Squad, I put in some vegetable oil. You can use olive oil. And I got it on high because I want this to do, like, I don't want it to make it make water. So if you turn it down low, it's going to simmer. And I don't want to simmer it. I'm not trying to simmer my chicken. Now, I'm not going to put all this chicken in this bowl in here. 
I want to get a good fry on it. And remember, this is still going in the oven. So, y'all, yeah, I don't have a steady hand. It's going to go two rounds. You yeah, still got some chicken now. It's going to go two rounds. And have it up on a medium high. And I'm going to take that broccoli out. So, so far, this is my seasoned fresh broccoli. It's seasoned. It's cooling off. You see all that steam? While the chicken cooking and the rice cooking, it's going to be cooling off. And as soon as it's cooled off, I'm going to chop it up a little bit smaller. I only use one two-pound pack of fresh broccoli from Walmart because my family loves vegetables, but I didn't want to put a whole lot. And plus, this rice right here has um, broccoli in it. So, yeah. So I just use one two pound bag of small broccoli from Walmart, the fresh one. And if you can use broccoli, if you have frozen, you don't have to blanch it. Just throw it out and you mix it up with everything towards at the end. But I'll tell you, you know. So we're doing chicken casserole, chicken broccoli cheese casserole. I'm going to chop it up. Uh, let me see something. I can't do it. I got to find a way to hold this camera. Somebody got a good tripod out there. Please recommend it. Okay, guys, I put the broccoli on a plate and I wash my hands. And then you're just going to chop it up. I ain't going to chop it up that fine. But I am going to take my knife. There's nothing special to it. Just move the plate around or your chopping board around. And just make some chops here and there. You just want to break it down smaller than what it is. Like I said, my rice already have broccoli in it. And you cook it for your family. So if you want to do four pounds of broccoli, if you're making a big one, by all means, do what you do, okay? Your kitchen your way, my kitchen my way. So yeah, I think my I think my kitchen light is not bright or something. Yeah, I get some light equipment fine the time, but it's okay. All right, that's all I'm doing. Not just a little rough chop, not a whole lot, but enough. This is the last batch. I got chicken. Again, you can do shredded chicken, chicken breast, leftover rotisserie chicken. It's up to you. All right, so squad, the broccoli is chopped. The chicken is done. I'm not shredding my chicken. I'm using cubes. I'm making a small casserole because it's only four of them who's going to eat it. Yeah, look at that. Okay, guys, I told you, I'm using this flavorful Noel's rice right here. And you're just going to follow the instructions. There's no need to put any extra seasoning, because this rice is seasoned. It has a chicken season already, okay? And you can put in some margarine or butter, which is optional. I put in a half a stick. And according to directions, it's two cups of water to um, each pack. So I have a um, two-cup measuring cup right here. So I'm, this is the measuring cup, guys. So go ahead, hold it up. And this is two cups. One. And I put in another one because I'm using two packs. So it needs four cups. It needs four cups of water. Turn it on a medium. So that's all I'm doing to this. Turn it on a medium high. Let this cook, and when this rice get finished, we are gonna put this thing casserole together. I gotta make the cheese sauce though. Okay guys, this is my cheese sauce. It's one cup of milk, four ounces of um, Velveeta's. Well, actually not four ounces, two ounces, cause I used a four ounce um, pack of Velveeta's and I cut it in half. So it's like two ounces of Velveeta's, a cup of shredded Kobe Jack and one cup of milk. And this is going to be my cheese sauce. We're going to let that cook. Okay, so. guys. I can't pick up my pan because this pan is heavy. So I'm just going to scoop the rice in here. See how flavorful that rice is? And, huh? Uh, we can leave some for you. <laughs> I leave some to the side. But Jackson not eating it, but he wants some rice. Rice so flavorful. It cooks so well. All right, we're going to get all this rice in here. We'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm going in with my condensed chicken. Now, 
You wonder why I'm putting no um, seasoning in my cheese? Because the broccoli is seasoned very well. The chicken tastes so awesome. The rice is a seasoned rice. And then you got this um, condensed chicken. And that's very seasoned. So I was like, I'm not putting seasoning in my cheese sauce. And so, yeah. It look, it look white, but it's yellow, y'all. I guarantee you. This... Oh, the potatoes have failed. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck is that? All right, so, yeah. so what we're going to do, we're going to stir this all up together. Now, if you had white rice and you didn't have the seasoned rice, I would tell you to cook your rice in some chicken broth. If you had white rice and you didn't have seasoned rice, cook your rice in chicken broth. Y'all, this is stirred up really well. Just that quick. Oh my goodness, this smells good. So if you had white rice, cook your rice in chicken broth and then season your cheese sauce. But I got so many flavors going on here. This cheese sauce didn't need to be um, seasoned. So I'm about to get my aluminum pan because you guys know I don't like doing dishes. But I do do them, okay? And we're gonna pull this in. Ooh, it smells so awesome. We're gonna pull this into our aluminum pan, and we're gonna top it with some cheese. Put it in the oven on 350 for like 15 minutes, cause everything is cooked. Now, you got some people will do raw chicken, cut it up, dice it, uncooked rice, chicken broth, broccoli. Place it all in the oven. My brain won't let me do that. Because I'll be thinking the chicken not done. <laughs> so I had to do it. Cook everything individually. And just put it all together. You know. Look at that. Look at that. You can eat this like this on a plate. This is amazing. Mm. Alright. Let me get my Luna pan. I'll be back. Okay y'all. I got my little 9 by 13 a little more pain. Look at that. So I might grab a fork, a spoon, and just eat. I'm just resting this pain. Put this in the sink. Add some water to it. Look at that. Any recipe, try my chicken casserole. Rocky chicken casserole. Oh, look, I got sweet the floor. Look at me. All right, guys, I'll put this in. This is already cooked. All they be doing is putting the, letting the cheese come together. How much cheese you put on there is up to you. You want to take some rich crackers and crumble it up, put it on top, it's up to you. But this is going in the oven, and we back when it's done. Okay, guys, look at her. She out of the oven, and I let it sit like 15 minutes. We're going to do a corner. Come down into it like Josh. I got it. Look at that guy. Want some of that? Yes. Okay. I made my chicken and broccoli casserole, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified. Go check out my Sova T vlogs. Go check out my sister New Life Journey. Yes, y'all. And check out more of my videos here on Sova T. Okay. She did that. I I am out. Oh, y'all, come to my Friday night pajama party. I have a Friday night pajama party live on Sova T vlogs at 8 from 8 a.m. from 8 p.m. Friday to 8 a.m. Saturday morning, guys. 
All right, I'm out. Bye. <laughs>